In my previous videos, you have learned about simple statement, also known as atomic statement. Each of these atomic statement have truth value, which is either true or false. These atomic statements make compound statements and convert it into a statement formulas using statement variables, also known as prepositional variable. It is for our convenience because performing algebra on atomic statements would be difficult. Imagine writing long sentences to do math. It's unthinkable. So, for example, I go to school is a statement with uh, truth values, but cannot be used to make a formula if three or more similar statements are combined together. So, we use some letters P, Q or maybe R that can represent the given statement. So, our topic for this video is well-formed formula, which is a properly constructed statement formula. So any statement formula is a prepositional expression made of prepositional variables, logical connectives and parentheses. It is possible that some of these logical expressions may not be sound and those which are properly constructed are called well-formed. So a recursive definition of well-formed formula is prepositional variables are by themselves well-formed. Suppose P is a simple prepositional variable and a well-formed formula, then not P, the negation of P is also well-formed. Rule number three, if P and Q are two variables that are well-formed, then P or Q, P and Q, P implies Q and P if and only if Q is well-formed formula. Any statement formula constructed using variables, connectives or parentheses by limited application of Rule number 1, 2 and 3 are well-formed formulas. Let us see some examples of well-formed formulas. Parentheses, then P or Q, then parentheses, parentheses, then P and parentheses, then Q or R and a parentheses and another parentheses, parentheses, P implies and a parentheses, Q implies R, then a parentheses and an outer parentheses. Here we can drop the outer parentheses for the sake of clarity. We know all the propositional variables, all the propositional formulas as outer parentheses. So we don't need to tell that explicitly and remove the outer braces. What is not well-formed formulas? Here are some examples of what is not well-formed formulas. Parentheses, then P implies Q. Parentheses then P or parentheses, then not Q or and parentheses. These are not well-formed formulas because either variable is missing or the parentheses. Note that in the first example, outer parentheses is not necessary, but if you introduced it, then you must use it properly. Otherwise, it is not well-formed. In the second example, you are missing a variable as well as an outer parentheses. So thank you for watching, please like, share and subscribe to my channel.